Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and we will talk today about the Genesis malware uh, software that is actually installed on some machines and typically how do you know if you're infected with Genesis is that when you're browsing you will have pop-ups show up um, telling you uh, to add, for example update your flash player because it's required and it has this please install and all sorts of you know pop-ups of flash player and by the way the first thing you should know is when there's a flash player pop-up inside Chrome Firefox or Internet Explorer never never click it's almost always a virus that wants to install and if you click on it well you are giving that virus access to your computer so um, it can also pop up little um, you know ads on the bottom right of your screen it has many ways of showing itself sometimes only on certain websites uh, so here is a way to actually manually remove Genesis from your computer uh, or if you're not sure if you have it why not follow the instructions and check for this malware so what you do is first of all go into your control panel in Windows and uh, click on the uh, folder options. If you don't see this, uh, you can, uh, you maybe you are in categories, you might see, uh, for example, uh, the categories like this. And so you can go on the upper right side and change category for icons and go into folder options and there click for um, show hidden files and folders in that list and click apply because if you don't do that you won't be able to go to the folder where Genesis is actually located another quick thing that you should do is right click on your uh, taskbar in the bottom of your desktop and there click task manager check out the list in the task manager and search for something called Genesis if you see Genesis in the uh, process or the, uh, the uh, programs, click on it and end task to make sure that it stops Genesis from working in your computer. Once you've done that, you can go into your file explorer, um, either by clicking computer or this PC in Windows 8, go into your C drive, click users, click your username and you should see app data click there click local search for something called Genesis in the list that you see over here make sure that you see Genesis if you see Genesis right click on it and delete the file if you can't delete if it says the process is still working um, restart your computer in safe mode using F8 at the startup or you can also just right click on it and rename the file and put any name that you want ABC for example and restart your computer Genesis won't be able to load anymore so um, that's one thing that you can do and if you restart your computer and it doesn't load anymore you can now go back here and actually delete the renamed file Genesis is very common I've seen it on many computers so you, it's possible if you have pop-ups showing everywhere uh, that it's in here also you should go and look in your temp file and basically the temp file in the app data I recommend that you actually delete everything in the temp file so just do control A for example select everything click delete and let it delete every type of files that it's finding in the temp file here it might say that some files cannot be uh, removed so you just skip on the files that it can't remove and so it will uh, of course not remove anything that is uh, being used by the system the temporary files here are very very uh, temporary like we say so uh, don't uh, mind the um, the ones that can because some programs actually have temporary files while you are using the computer but remove everything that you can and um, 
then what you'll do is uh, just go back into the uh, control panel or if you left it open like I did and just put don't show it in files make sure that you put the little check mark back um, it doesn't matter if you leave it at show it in files it's just that sometimes it gets a little annoying um, and after you restart your computer, another thing that you should probably do is go on to the uh, www.malwarebytes.org website, download their excellent software, free version download, and uh, make sure that you install and scan with Malwarebytes and quarantine everything that it finds so you'll be sure that you uh, it will see every other malware that you might have uh, usually the people that I've seen with Genesis malware installed have other malware installed also so um, don't be surprised if you um, your Malwarebytes program actually sees some other malware and follow the instructions, restart your computer. Normally with these instructions, you should be able to remove Genesis, which will prevent pop-ups. And by uh, actually using Malwarebytes, um, you'll be able to uh, scan your computer uh, by clicking the Scan Now button at the bottom and uh, make sure that everything is nice and clean. Uh, and of course, make sure you have a working antivirus software on your computer. Hope it helps. Hope this video helped you remove Genesis from your computer. It's a piece of malware and it's getting popular because I've seen it at least a dozen times in the past month on clients' computers. If you like our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know and uh, hopefully this video will help you learn how to remove malware on your computer. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again on the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.